Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places, according to how his divine power has made available to us all things that pertain to life and to godliness. He is a good and faithful and an awesome God. Today, I bring you glad tidings and I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus. And today, we just want to share quickly um, on the topic, stepping up, hallelujah. Stepping up, it's time to step up and stand in the gap, hallelujah. It's time to step up to the plate. It's time to take your rightful place. And I'll bring you some words from Genesis chapter 2. Genesis chapter 2 is one of those um, scriptures, you know, that are so interesting and yet so powerful. It seems innocuous because after all the activities in Genesis chapter 1 and then in Genesis chapter 2, God actually inserted a series of very powerful and very important nuggets that I believe that every man and every boy and every woman and every girl needs to hear because the word man in the original rendering doesn't just refer to the male as a gender but it's actually speaking about mankind as a race hallelujah it's speaking about humanity but since today is father's day i want to speak specifically to the men and to the boys and then i will speak to the entire church hallelujah the bible makes us to understand that god had already spoken into being all of creation all the stars, the moon, the sun, the trees, the herbs, and the grass, hallelujah. And the Bible says, but even though he had created them and he formed the garden east of Eden, and the Bible says, even though there was potential, even though the word had been spoken, even though the raw material was there, yet they did not grow because the Bible said God had not yet caused it to rain on the earth. And that there was no man to till the ground. Now the word till there means to keep. It means to serve. It means to work. Hallelujah. So you realize that God had to put everything on hold until the man stepped forward. Until the man came forward. Until the man stepped up. Hallelujah. And so the Bible says from verse 5 that nothing happened because the man was not around. Hallelujah. Would you just imagine how, how many things that are supposed to happen in homes. The progress, the achievement, the blessings. Hallelujah. The, the, the increase that is supposed to happen in many homes, in, every, in many communities, in many places of work, uh, but it's not progressing, it's not manifesting, it's not coming forward because somebody needs to step up. Some man there needs to step, step up. Some child of God needs to step up. And so the potential may be there, but growth will not be actualized until the man shows up. Hallelujah. Until the man steps up, until the man steps in, until the man steps steps forward and so fast forward going down hallelujah from verse 7 the bible said god brought man into the picture he formed man out of the dust of the ground and breath into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul and so as soon as man showed up the bible said then god allowed hallelujah the grass of the field and the herbs and everything that was in the garden to begin to grow and he asked the man and put him in in the garden and said to him it is for you to dress it and to keep it hallelujah to dress means to take care hallelujah the duty of the man to take care to care for the home to care for the spouse to care for the children to care for the community hallelujah i want to say to you if you are a father out there if you are a man out there that there is more to you than you appreciate there is more to you than you think there are things that god has deposited on the inside of you hallelujah there is more to you there is a leader in you there is a king in you there is a queen in you there is a difference maker a trailblazer in you you are here to impact humanity you are here to make a difference wheresoever you are in you there are rich deposits of gifts of talents of creativities and innovations that god has deposited on the inside of you there are a lot of ungrown talents a lot of ungrown blessings, a lot of ungrown work that is out there lying dormant because the man has not stepped up for it to be kept and for it to be tilled. Hallelujah. But the Bible says God 
did something remarkable. He said, after he had formed all the beasts of the field and the fowls of the air, he brought them to the man to see what he would name them. Hallelujah. And so in that regard, Adam was used to God naming things. The Bible said God called the, 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 the light day. And the, and the darkness he called night. He divided the sea from the land. And he called the waters gathered together sea. And he called the dry place land. And so Adam was used to God naming. To God having to think through these things. To God having to come up with solution. But here was God now deputizing Adam and saying to Adam, I am putting you in charge. You carry my image. You carry my likeness. That which you have seen me do continue to do. Hallelujah. I don't know who I'm talking to today, but God is saying to you, that which you have seen me do, do in your family, do in your community, do in your nation. Step up to the plate. Take responsibility. In you I have deposited creative and innovative ability. In you I have placed the mantle of the leader. In you I have placed the mantle of the, of the priest. Step up. Hallelujah. Step up and take the challenge. And so Adam had to step up. The man had to step up. The mankind needed to step up to begin to do that which we are used to God doing. In other words, God was saying, I have, I'm putting a vote of confidence in you. I know you can do it. I know what I have placed on the inside of you. I know there is power in you. I know there is grace in you. I know there are abilities in you. I know you are capable of doing more than you could ever imagine. And so he said to the man, I will bring them to you. I will bring the challenge to you because I know that you can name them. Hallelujah. And whatever you can name, you can dominate. Hallelujah. To name them means he is able to figure them out. To name them means he is able to decipher them. In these times of challenges, in this time of difficulty, God is calling upon you to name the challenge, to name the responsibility. Decipher them. Hallelujah. Read between the line. Hallelujah. He was saying to man, I have given you analytical skills. I have given you the power to dominate. I have given you the power to rule. I have given you the power to reign. And so he brought the challenge to him. He brought the responsibility to him. He said, think about them. He said, speak to them. He said, dominate them. He said, name them. And in these days of uncertainty, God is saying to somebody out there, it's time to step up. It's time to step forward. It's time to step in the gap. It's time to take responsibility. It's time to be all that God has called you to be and to do all that God has called you to do. For you were created to rule. You were created to reign. You were created to dominate. And you are created to take charge. So arise in the grace of the Lord. Arise in the power of the Lord. Arise in the beauty of his holiness. Arise under the superintendence of the Holy Spirit and do all that you are called to do and be all that you are called to be. And as you do, I pray that the God of all grace will uphold, sustain, keep, strengthen, and bless you that you will be able to lay hold of that for which the Lord has laid hold of you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And amen. God richly bless you.